Steph, congratulations on your new deal. How does it feel to have signed a new contract with City? Uh, firstly, thank you. Um, obviously, delighted. I think um, once the talk started, there was always going to be one answer. And for me, it was the easiest decision I've ever made. It's just a commit my future to this football club. A really positive week, obviously, back on the pitch as well. One to celebrate. <laughs> yeah, it's been a really good week, obviously. First and foremost, we got the win. A great start of 2022. And uh, for me personally, it has been a really tough four months. Um, trained a lot over Christmas uh, with a few of the girls just to kind of make sure that once everybody was back in, I was kind of ready to go. And um, yeah, it was just kind of easing my way back into the side. But it was good to get on to obviously uh, play 20, 25 minutes and be back with the group and um, yeah, hopefully a sign of more things to come over the next few weeks. And how are you feeling? Yeah, good, excited of course. I think um, there's been a lot of outside noise around me personally and this team and um, the only way that we can put things right or to kind of silence them is to kind of continue with the form that we potentially are shown and that starts over the next few weeks, we've got some tough games coming up, but um, look, we've got some talented players. We're a good team, and for me, it's just about showing that I am fit, that I've worked so hard over the last few weeks. Um, I've had unbelievable help from my physio, um, from Jamie, our s &C coach, and obviously the specialist and our doctor, and I'll be forever grateful for them getting me back on the pitch. And your eighth year at City, part of the furniture now very much. God, pretty much, yeah. I think, wow, eight years, it's actually flown by. I think when people say you've been here eight years, I'm, I actually don't believe them. But ultimately, I think for me, it's always been about being at Manchester City, being a part of this club for now and for the future. And, and that's why I wanted to commit and to kind of show that I'm a loyal person uh, to my team and to my club and to the people that have helped me along the way. And I know that you're very proud to be, have been part of that journey all the way through as well. Yeah, of course. I mean, there's been a lot, a lot of highs and there's been some lows as well. And to have seen both sides, especially in women's football in general, I think uh, for me and a lot of the other girls that were here from the beginning, um, it's been unbelievable to see how much we've kind of transformed into a unbelievable club, not just in England, but also in Europe and in the world. And that clubs are trying to emulate us as much as possible. So... Um, we are where we are want to be and that's for me personally as well. I think we all want to be going to win as many trophies as we can but now to commit and to commit to the future I know that we've got some unbelievable memories coming up. And I know that you're also very proud to be part of the CFG in general and what the club does off the pitch. Yeah I think that was a massive pull coming here in the first place and that's why I've continued to still be here for the last eight years is that we're an unbelievable women's team but as a club in general but also across the world globally I think the links that we have I think we are a, a force within football and to be a part of that and to be part of the family it's it's a special feeling. And a firm believer that there's plenty of trophy success to come. Yeah of course I'm, I'm sitting here thinking that we have a good team and we can always improve and we can get better in a number of areas but I think we have a group of players that want to do that we have a management and a group of staff that want to to push and to challenge each other every day and for this club yeah at this moment in time in terms of the league we, we're trying to push but at the same time there's so many memories that we can look forward to and to try and challenge for them trophies along the way. And we talk about your leadership role and your positive influence and I think that there's a lot of people in the squad that are sharing that and I think this season the togetherness has really shone through hasn't it? Yeah it's important I think that's probably our mantra when we've been here at City and from the, f the moment that I walked in was that no matter what team you are, we, we always stick together through the good and the bad. And um, yeah, the girls have been unbelievable. We've had to go through a bit of a rough patch, but I think we're coming out the other side of that. And that's because everybody's kind of on the same page. We're, we're challenging, we're pushing and we're being positive. And, and that's both on and off the pitch. It's important that we get off the pitch right and the culture. And we show that we've got not just me as a leader, but a lot of other people that lead in different ways. And in a previous interview in a contract extension, you said you wanted to be different to other centre-backs in the way you play, playing out from the back. Do you think Gareth Taylor's style is, is perfect for your game as well? Yeah, I think obviously since Gareth's been here, I think um, he's improved my game um, a lot, to be honest, in terms of my understanding of the game, the understanding of my role especially, um, building partnerships with Alex, um, now Alana and Ruby coming through, I think. For me, it's about being pushed every single day and um, 
I think even after eight years, I want that challenge. I want to be able to win and I want to lead by example. So in terms of the way that we play, it really does suit my style and having the ball at my feet and control and possession and uh, hopefully long may that continue. And you feel you can better your game even further? Yeah, of course. I think I'm not sitting here happy with how I am. I'm, I'm excited to be back playing on the pitch. I have teammates that can push me. We have competition for places. And we've got a big year for, for England as well. So for me, I think it's all about kind of improving every single day. I, if I was to stand still, there would be no point in me playing. I think for me, it's always about trying to better myself in different areas. And the older you get, it's about choosing them areas wisely. And for me, I think I've got so much more development. I think I've got the right manager to do that, but also the right group of players around us to keep pushing and have the confidence in me to still continue to be one of the best. And a lot of young talent in the squad as well, and something you're passionate about developing the next generation of, of England stars. Yeah, of course. I think it's important at City that we, we have got young players coming through, the likes of Esme, the likes of Lauren, the likes of Ruby, Chiara. Um, these are our future of this football club. And I know that when I was younger, a lot of older players put, put their arm around me and kind of ushered us into a way of trying to be the best professional that I can be. So. It's up to me and the other older experienced players to kind of put our arms around them and push them and challenge them because they've got so much more to give. And especially in this building, at this football club, you've got everything at your doorstep to kind of do what you need to do and to be even better every day. It's such a big year internationally for, for England. Yeah, it's exciting. It's been a long time coming. Obviously, we're supposed to be last year. But um, no, I mean, for me, first and foremost, this is a country I'm playing for Manchester City. This is where... If I play well and, and I continue to stay fit and to physically push myself, that it gives me every chance to be able to go and represent my country at a home Euros, which would be a dream come true. And you're still breaking records, the first uh, player to reach 200 appearances for, for the women's team last <laughs> season. Still making history. Oh, trying to. I don't know whether that shows my age or that just shows my consistency. But yeah, I think ultimately I'm proud to be part of them records. I know there's a lot of people that'll uh, break the same types of records over the next few seasons. But yeah, I think ultimately it's the biggest honour to represent this club and to be here for the immediate future. Do you have a message for the fans? Just a massive thank you. I think um, we speak about being here for eight years and I absolutely love playing in front of them and to play at our home stadium, to see how many miles they travel and how welcome they've been of me and, and especially my family. I think um, that's what makes it feel like home when we do have games and to always just stick, to stay with us and to get behind us because we hear you more than you think. Plenty more free kicks to come as well. Yeah, better get practicing, Vetna. Yeah, let's hope we get a few this season. Thanks, Steph. Congratulations. Thank you.